First it was the circus, now America's zoos are being targeted. Animals deserve better. They deserve better than to be uh, put on display for our entertainment. PETA activist Ashley Burns says the closure of the greatest show on earth is just the start. She cited this notorious incident at the Cincinnati Zoo where Harambe the gorilla was shot after a child fell into his compound last year as an example of animals suffering in zoos. Even in zoos, animals are deprived of everything that's natural and important to them. Undercover video released by PETA in 2009 showing elephant handlers striking the animals fueled the controversy over the alleged mistreatment of circus elephants. Ringling Brothers retired its elephant acts last May. It was the beginning of the end for the circus as ticket sales dropped dramatically. Juliet Feld's family owns Ringling Brothers Circus. When we took the elephants off of the touring units, there was a very steep drop in, in ticket sales, much greater than we ever could have anticipated. 70 elephants now live at the Center for Elephant Conservation in Florida. There was controversy involving human acts too. Eight women acrobats who hang by their hair, known as harialists, were injured when some rigging collapsed. The announcement that the 146 year old circus is folding its tent came as a shock. Heartbreaking because we have so many memories as kids, right? I spoke with legendary high wire walker Nick Walinda, who started out with Ringling Brothers. You have a deep connection, you and your family, to this circus. What does it mean to you now that it's shut down? I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Ringling Brothers. It's heartbreaking to hear that after 146 years, they're going to shut down. But famous animal rights activists are rejoicing. Pamela Anderson tweeted, it's over. The saddest show on earth for wild animals will end. Ricky Gervais called it a victory for humanity. Seth MacFarlane tweeted, good riddance. There are no winners here.